Practically 80% of all the Jambites on my community have been asking me one question every single time in my DMs on WhatsApp and some even go as far as putting a call through to me just to know how they can finish the jump syllabus before they sit in the UTM next year. So I decided to put an end to this question through this video. So if you are new here, my name is Dr. Jeremiah, a medicine and surgery student of the prestigious University of Ibadan, popularly known as the first and best university in Sub-Saharan Africa. I post educational videos touching different areas and aspects that will help you become a high flyer sooner than you expect. So make sure you go check out those videos and don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. And lastly, share to every UTME aspirant that you know. So let's get started with this video. So first and foremost, what is the jam syllabus? Do you know what the jam syllabus look like? Every time I ask most UTM around this question, they are usually taken aback and surprised. Like, what is the UTM syllabus? What is the jam syllabus? They haven't heard of this in their life. But they think of finishing the syllabus when they don't know what the syllabus is. So, first thing first, you must have the jump revised syllabus at your fingertip yeah you must have the jump revised syllabus at your fingertip why because it contains every single topic you need to study every single thing you need to know from your textbooks it's found in the jump syllabus there are some topics not relevant to your textbooks that have been omitted in the jump syllabus and if you don't have the jump syllabus how do you then know these topics I know most persons, or let me not say most persons, if a good number of persons prepare for UTM by now have the jump syllabus. But if in case you don't have the jump syllabus, you can tell me in the comment section below. I'll make a special video on the jump syllabus and everything you need to know about the jump syllabus. Yes, for every subject, every science subject to be designed. So this channel is a science um, channel. So I'll be um, doing that in case you need it but let's assume everyone have the jump syllabus by now so let's go to the next stop the number 2.40b you need to divide every topic in the jump syllabus into weeks into months and probably if you are if you are starting preparation by january let's assume by january you have three months so you divide it into three months so starting february into two months so you divide this syllabus in two months to be precise uh, two months three months and what have you so so when you divide these jam syllabus into weeks into months into two months three months and what have you what does it do for you it helps you not to waste much time on irrelevant topics or it helps you not to waste much time on topics that you have already known many of you many students just um, they just want to finish, like want to read the topic like several times and when you don't have enough time so this prevents you from wasting time on topics like topics you have finished, you already understand it helps you to manage your time, not to waste too much time on topics you already know and topics you have already covered before topics you already understand like there's some topics you don't need to actually read in depth like stuff like elasticity because why? because from, if you just know the formula of elasticity you are going to go in the house but you cannot compare it to electromagnetism or, ele or waves now in physics. Let's use physics as an example. Or in chemistry, you cannot compare um, what of the waves in chemistry now. You can't compare particular theory of matter to, let's say, organic chemistry now. Or some deep, deep calculations in chemistry, like creative reactions and all that. So, you see, you have to give more time to that. So, imagine you have just beginning particular nature of matter for weeks. You are just playing with that green jam stuff. Okay. This is why it's very important that you must apportion the jam syllabus into weeks and into months and what have you. So let's quickly go to the next point for today. When you have successfully done um, the previous point, you have to now set daily targets. When you wake up every day, don't just jump into reading. I tell people, 
set daily target up daily goals you have set your monthly you have set that big goal that's a big goal now you need smaller goals so you have to break that big target into daily goals i tell persons the superpower of man is revealed in what you do daily i will tell how your results will be from what you do every single day you can't expect to just appear and just read nine hours on a particular day in a week where someone else is reading four hours every day that person is reading four hours every day is doing better than you why or we do better than you there is some why because this game is a game of consistency and not just intensity you think you're just able to learn different stuff in that nine hours no you just end up wasting your time because the brain works or the brain captures concepts you read every day the brain is a magnet it tells you to say, okay, this person is making progress daily. Your brain was not made to just wake up one single day and just learn every topic in chemistry or every topic in um, biology. You want to just know every single thing that day. Or you want to learn 10 topics at the same time. No. You learn it daily. You learn it bit by bit. Why? Because it helps you to understand this concept and it helps your brain to store them and bring them to your remembrance when they are important. I tell people it's not just about studying. It's like study 10 hours every um, in a, 10 hours. Uh, maybe say you study, you want to study 10 hours on Saturday. You study 10 hours every Saturday before your jam exam. You will do poorly in the exam or why? Because you will not remember some stuff when you get to the hall. You will not remember some stuff because you crowded your brain with too much information at the at at, 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 at time. I don't care some persons that even though you want to read long, like daily. You must break this reading into shorter times. Yes, you want to read maybe say five, six, seven, eight hours every day. You must see break it. You don't have to just read for stretch. You get two hours. You can take a break and all that because it helps you in the long run to remember this course. I know we are done with this point. So all I'm trying to tell you is that this game is one on consistency and not just intensity. I always tell my students that a consistent man will beat a skillful man. Take for instance Cristiano Ronaldo that you guys celebrate. The reason why this guy is doing excellently well in football is that even at the age of 39, I think he's 39 currently. So even at the age of 39, he's still training every single day. If you go to the Instagram page or his social media pages, you notice that this man still trains every single day, every single morning. For some of you, you want to just read um uh, once a week or once a month, just finish. Maybe read two, two out of the 24 hours. Just say, I'll finish this. I'll finish like 15 um, chapters in 24 hours. You are doing yourself arm. Things are worn with consistency. Yes, just like Cristiano Ronaldo is still doing very well at his age. Cristiano Ronaldo's preseason training routine has been leaked. You'll be shocked how much he trains at 39. Let's go through it together. Monday morning. He starts with a warm-up of light jogging and dynamic stretches, followed by cardio and endurance work like long-distance running and HIIT. Afternoon, he spends two hours at the gym working on upper body strength, core stability, technical skills like ball control and dribbling, and speed and agility. Tuesday. What are you doing at your own age? Are you just um, um, TikToking and just waiting for one week to your exam to just start preparing? No, you have to start preparations now. Then the next point on our list is that you must join a good tutorial to keep you in check like i always say students joining a tutorial to keep you in check is very important and mostly for students that know that they can't keep themselves in check those that don't have solid foundations those that you know that okay i'm having problems with one subject those that don't have a good environment many of you you have both online and offline you don't have to to motivate you it's why you need a good tutorial that can help you to spoil you to read because you must finish every topic in the jam syllabus and also if you get a good tutorial it can also help you finish the syllabus why they finish the syllabus as a, as a tissue you also finish the syllabus personally do you have finished the syllabus twice like that this of you that are starting the variation january now or um february anytime you see this video you are starting the variation very late you have a good tutorial that will help you also finish the syllabus because you will not be able to finish the syllabus yourself but this tutorial finish the syllabus and you also try finishing it yourself so you have finished it twice if you have started maybe December, um, November, October you also have much time okay you have finished the syllabus maybe twice or once this tutorial finish the syllabus so you see you have more edge you get you have more edge 
So that's why you must join a good tutorial. And there's only one tutorial I can recommend to any student writing the exam. exam. It's the unusual science tutorial. Because unusual science tutorial have been able to do extraordinary feats in the past few months. Like students have never had this enthusiasm to read in their life. I've been able to do excellently well in such areas. Like I've watched students who have never opened their books before. Like they have this phobia of opening their notes or their textbook. But they have been able to read on a consistent basis since, since joining UST. Why? Because of the motivation and the strict discipline. One thing about Unusual Science Tutorial is that there's extreme discipline. Starting from the tutors, the team members, and everybody in Unusual Science Tutorial, everybody is disciplined. So every student is extremely disciplined. And there's an accountability feature that enables that you are actually making progress. So if you're for the UTME, make sure you are in Unusual Science Tutorial so you do not waste your precious time taking the ETME again. I tell people, you don't have to start boasting, I wrote ETME, I wrote jam 10 times, 15 times. Boasting that stupidity. Write your jam once and for all and forget about it. I don't want to waste much time today, but the details on how to join or just sign tutorial is showing on the screen. So, I think it's showing on your screen right now. But if you want more information, just send the keyword registration. Registration to 081 four six two two seven zero four three on whatsapp and you get a response immediately yes you get a response immediately so do that when you are through this video just write the number somewhere zero eight one four six two two seven zero four three and send the registration to that number on whatsapp so let's quickly go to the next point today always surround yourself with winners always surround yourself with winners and a good environment that will motivate you and support you to become better. Many aspirants want to sit the UTM exam in April. Don't even have people to actually support them to read. Nobody is keeping them accountable. Nobody is checking up on them. Nobody is telling them you are supposed to do this and do that. No friends even check them. And even when they have friends, these friends are even mocking them. Like instead of encouraging you, they are mocking you because why? Maybe they are better than you or they have done. Um, father than you or they have taken the interview before so they have experience than you and all those stuff so they don't have people so that's why you must be in UST like I just said earlier because you have um, winners around you the tutors in UST all scored above 340 in the UTM so imagine such intense environment and despite the tutor and even the team members who work out in UST the students are all high flyers why because they are they are actually always motivated to study Imagine you see someone tell you I read for five hours yesterday. You will be motivated to read today. Why? Because I someone who read for five hours yesterday. You see, and it's not just one person. Every person, every every single person in the US is telling you I read three hours, I read two hours. Okay, I couldn't even read my eight hours yesterday because of work or something. So I read for four hours. So that will motivate you to do, do well. Even even though you are maybe you are working or doing stuff, many persons are working and preparing for UTM, and it's not it's not easy. So this environment helps you. To do better, so you must surround yourself with winners every single time. Then, lastly, don't ever forget the God factor. Yeah, the God factor. I always tell my students that pray like you're not going to read, and read like you're not going to pray. Like the two go simultaneously. You don't have to leave one at one side and um, forget about the other. No, your spirituality must be kept in check. Like you must be kept in check every time. So you must pray like you will not read, and you must read like you will not pray. So you don't have to start reading, 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 and forget what you have to I have to pray, I have to, I have to bring this issue of my exam to my maker. No. So that's why they say there is time for every, everything. So you have to have some meaning, some hours, you know, not necessarily be long hours, to actually talk with your maker. Because this exam is a very, very spiritual one. And I tell people life is one spiritually. Yes. Life is one spiritually before physically. Everything you see physically manifests physically as first be one spiritually. Yes. So you must win this game spiritually also. Like I tell people, you must keep your relationship with God very, very intact. Your academic life should not spoil your relationship with God. It should not hinder your spirituality. It should not stop you from going to your church, to your mocks or other um, religious activities you may have been engaging in before preparing for the UTM. So it should not stop your life, yes. Reading should not stop your life, actually. 
So don't just do this because you want to just HD tell me. Do this because it actually makes you a better person, not just today but in the future. Yes, because there are some irrelevant things that being close to God will just take you away naturally. So your relationship with God being intact will help you to actually make impact in your world, if not today, some other time again. Yeah. So make sure your relationship with God is very very intact. Yes, I can't wait to see you crushing your goals like being in your dream course in your dream institution and in the next UTME the next academic season so you don't have to write another jump again that will be all for today's video guys if you found it helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified immediately I drop the next video. Make sure you don't miss the next video for anything. And lastly, you want to be part of my WhatsApp community and learn from me daily. Send the keyword YouTube to my WhatsApp number 081 46 22 70 43. I repeat it again 081 46 22 70 43. And yes, I have a free gift for my first 2,000 subscribers. It contains my free physics resources and materials. I place them on a private group chat on Telegram. So do well to send the keyword YouTube to my WhatsApp number to get your free package. Alright, stay with you guys. And like I always say, don't forget to keep reading till you become the book. I remain the one and only Dr. Jeremiah and I will see you in the next video. Bye.